In this video we're going to take a tour of the portable solar panel array. Uh, this is a four panel uh, 12 volt array and each of the panels has 120 watts with a maximum output of about 7.1 amps. There are four panels in parallel here by way of the combiner box in the rear which we're going to go over shortly. Now normally you would see this type of array on a roof or on a side of pole uh, ground mount. Uh, you'd have your batteries in some storage closet or and your inverters and, and charge controllers uh, mounted on the wall. Uh, but during an emergency or a collapse of our whole system, uh, it's important to me anyway to, make, to be able to, to uh, keep my equipment portable with a kind of a low profile and away from marauders or people that might want to uh, take your stuff. Uh, a traditional system would be great if everyone prepared equally, but that hasn't happened. Uh, as you can see here, the array has cartwheels mounted on the bottom, which allow the, uh, the array to be rolled into the garage or into, inside a house or some other secure structure overnight or whenever it, uh, it's not in use. Or if there's bad weather, if, it's, if it starts to hail or something like that, you can roll it into protection. Uh, the panel, panel array is 8 feet 10 inches long and 5 feet uh, 2 inches deep. Now the height of the array is going to uh, be variable depending on the season and uh, which seasonal tilt angle risers that are installed uh, and, and that's something we're going to go over shortly as well. See, the array is built of two by fours with the hinges. There are four hinges across the front that you can see there. Uh, and there are also hinges both on the bottom and the top of the two risers, as well as the cross member that holds the uh, combiner box. Uh, you can see there are four panels there. Each panel has its own uh, connections to the combiner box and those are standard MC4 cables. Now the hinges themselves are absolutely critical to the design of this system uh, for several reasons. Number one, we can take those risers out completely and the entire uh, array will collapse and, and become, you know, about eight inches tall, uh, maybe, maybe 10 inches, including the wheels, uh, and it, it allows you to store it or, or you know whatever you want to do the uh, the risers themselves are mounted on hinges so it's just a matter of taking one hinge pin out on each side of the riser so it's a total of four hinge pins and then take the two hinge pins out of the uh, the, the cross member and then set the combiner box cross member to the side and put the new risers in and and then put the uh, the cross member back on and then you've, you've suddenly you've got the, uh, the tilt angle that's perfect for the season that you're dealing with. Okay these are the two risers that are used in the summer they provide for an 80 degree tilt angle uh, you see the two hinges at the bottom those will connect to the bottom of the panel assembly and in the center there you see the uh, hinges that will connect the cross member that has the combiner box to this set of risers and it will take two people maybe two minutes to change from one season to the next now the, the combiner box provides a method to combine the panels in parallel uh, with breakers and I'll show you the breakers in just just a moment uh, the core of the combiner box is a square D outdoor 70 amp two space slot uh, circuit breaker load center uh, it's a mouthful, but they have them for about 35 bucks at any home improvement store. Uh, installed in the combiner box are two f twin 15 amp breakers, which allows me to have 15 amp breakers for each panel, and it'll also allow me to isolate the panels. Uh, combining the panels in parallel allows the voltage to remain, the s uh, remain at the single panel level, which is uh, 12 volts and I combine each of the panels together which each, each panel has about 7.1 uh, 
uh, amps each so all four panels together gives me a maximum of 20 28.4 amps now here are our four uh, breakers 15 amps each uh, I didn't label these because I just ordered them in the order of the panel the far left is going to be panel one to the left and the far right is panel four this the far panel on the right uh, it's all kind of kind of self-explanatory now inside the combiner box there's a negative wire from each solar panel that goes directly to the negative bar bus uh, combining the, the negative wires the po positive wires from each panel goes to a separate breaker dedicated to that panel and like I said there are uh, twin 15 amp breakers in here that allows me to have a two slot uh, breaker box which in this in this case we're calling a combiner box uh, and but yet have four breakers um, this puts the four panels by, by, by putting them all on the same positive bus coming out that puts the four panels in parallel thereby combining them now you'll see right here there's a jumper right here that jumps the the positive for this breaker, a pair of breakers, and this breaker, this pair of breakers, and so all four of them by way of this loop here are combined. This right here is the negative bus. All four of the negative wires terminate here. Of course you have the, pos the negative coming out here going to the pigtail, and you have the positive coming out here going to the pigtail. Uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, I'm going to have a uh, pictorial in just a moment that kind of details that a little better. Here you can see at the top of the combiner box the jumper that goes from the positive on the first twin breaker set over to the positive on the second twin breaker set. This combines the four positive uh, outputs to the charge controller. Uh, you can see on the left hand side the positive pigtail connection and on the right hand side the negative pigtail con connection. Also on the left hand side you can see the negative uh, bus bar where all four panels terminate their negative cables here on the negative bus bar. At the very bottom you can see the four wires coming from each panel to their respective breakers. Now one of the biggest benefits for having uh, a breaker on each one of these panels is the ability to isolate the panels for troubleshooting. You can uh, you can you can turn all of them off except for one. Go check your charge controller, see what the output is, and you can do that one at a time for each panel, just to make sure that your your panels individually are operating as you want to see them operate. Now here is the pigtail I was talking about, the positive. Uh, bus and the negative bus come out to this and uh, it hooks to this is just a standard 30 amp connector on the other end I used a uh, washer and dryer type connector but this allows me to take this apart right here and store the wire and this just hangs here now as you can see using the standard MC4 uh, connections uh, what was kinda neat about that was being able to um, being able to use the uh, uh, extension cables on these, you just cut them in half and allow me to use half as many cables. Now this is the the hinge connection for the cross member that goes over to the combiner box. Uh, simply take this pin out right here and that allows you to uh, take that one out also of course to remove the cross member so that you can change the risers here. Now these risers, this one right here as I said, is 50, uh, provi provides for a 57 degree tilt angle. Now, as you can see there the risers themselves are on hinges as well. That allows you to take those out, just pop them out, you put the new riser in and and within a minute or two you're, you're at a different seasonal uh, tilt angle. Also down at the, the foot here, you see there are hinges there as well. One, two, three, four of them. And that allows you to change the tilt angle or fold it all the way up for storage. Alright, a little more on the 
tilt angle. Uh, of course, uh, optimizing the solar array's tilt angle based on the position of the sun and the time of year is going to increase your array's output. Uh, to optimize the energy production in the summer, increase the solar uh, tilt angle, as you saw with the 80 degree tilt angle riser I showed you before. The picture you're looking at now represents a 57 degree tilt angle, which is best in my area for spring and fall. And for the winter, uh, a 34 degree tilt angle is, uh, is, is best for my area. So, so change your tilt angle on your array to optimize your array's output. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the solar array. Uh, next, we're going to be talking about the battery box. So uh, come back and watch that one, and please subscribe. Thanks.